Hey everyone, I'm Lauren from tastebetterfromscratch.com and today I'm showing you how to make our easy pastry scones. These are so soft, tender, and flaky, better than you would find at a bakery, and they're so easy to make from home. They definitely taste better from scratch. My mom used to make these scones all the time on Sunday mornings and the smell made it really easy to get out of bed. It was always a race to get there before they were gone. Let's get to it. We're gonna start by adding our dry ingredients to a bowl. We have two cups of all-purpose flour, one third cup granulated sugar, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna whisk these together. We're gonna go ahead and grate our frozen cold butter into the flour mixture. Cold butter is the key to making perfect, tender, flaky scones. It's similar to a biscuit or a pie crust where it really matters that the butter is cold when it goes into the oven. You can see our butter is grated into really tiny, small pieces, which will make it a lot easier to cut in to this flour. Okay, we're gonna set this aside while we add our wet ingredients to another mixing bowl. We have one third cup heavy cream, one third cup of plain Greek yogurt, or you could use sour cream, one egg, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, give this a quick mix, and then we'll add it to our dry ingredients with our butter. We're gonna pour them over the bowl with our flour and butter to finish up our scones. Go ahead and use a spoon or a spatula to gently mix everything together. You don't wanna mix it like crazy. Just wanna make sure everything is incorporated. At this point, you can also add any of your favorite mix-ins. You could add craisins, blueberries, chocolate chips, anything that you like. I'm gonna be doing craisins. That's how my mom always made it and it's my favorite. Now you can go ahead and use your hands to kind of scoop the dough. I'm gonna just go ahead and dump it right onto my counter. We want it to come together into a nice ball, get all those extra pieces that are escaping. Again, you don't wanna handle the dough too much, otherwise your biscuits will be more on the tough side than the tender flaky side. Okay, now we're going to just press it, use your hands to press it into a circle, about an inch to two inches thick, inch and a half, kind of eyeball it. I like the scones to be a little bit thicker. That looks great. We've got it into a nice even round circle. Now we're going to cut it into eight separate wedges. I like to cut it in half into a T and then an X in the middle to make eight even slices. That's it, so easy. We're gonna add these to a baking sheet and they're ready to go in the oven. I like to give them a little bit of space on the baking pan so that they all cook nice and golden brown. We're ready to stick these in the oven at 400 degrees for about 16 to 18 minutes till they're golden brown. Our scones are ready. They're beautifully golden brown on top. All right, they look perfect. I'm gonna remove them to a cooling rack while we make a really simple glaze to go on top. It's just made with powdered sugar and milk. Let's go ahead and grab one cup of powdered sugar and just about a tablespoon of milk. We're gonna mix these together. You really can't mess this glaze up. If you want it thicker, you can add a little more powdered sugar. If it's not runny enough, you can add a little more milk. Our glaze is looking just right. We're ready to drizzle it over our scones. You can add as much or as little as you like. It adds a touch of sweetness to the top that makes it really like a pastry, it's delicious. There's nothing better than having these straight out of the oven when they're just warm. Open that, look at the nice, delicious, moist layers. They're golden on top with a little bit of a crunch, but the inside is so flaky and tender and soft. They're so, so good just like my mom used to make them, and they definitely taste better from scratch. Thanks for watching, you guys. You can find the full recipe in the video description, plus extra tips for making them head or freezing your scone dough or your baked scones. 
I hope you'll like the video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future recipes that taste better from scratch. We'll see you next time.